Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Dead Matter video. And today it's going to be a little bit different because last night they released a new dev vlog. And this is dev vlog 11. The last one was actually a couple of months ago at the beginning of February. So it's been a little bit quiet on the Dead Matter front. Now this is the first time I've recapped or reacted to a development vlog. So do let me know if there's anything you'd like to see from these in the future. But anyway, let's jump straight into it. So one of the very first things I noticed was actually this axe swing. And you can see the new gore system has been implemented or at least implemented to some degree. I haven't actually seen it within like the dead matter world per se. We've seen it in the um, sort of the playtest areas and close ups, but this was really cool to see and it's definitely something I'm looking forward to trying out. So since the last development vlog and this one, they've added three new level designers and have been working very hard on world optimization ready for the closed alpha. Talking of the closed alpha, I mentioned it in my previous Dead Matter video, but that will be arriving in June. We don't have an exact date, but the exact date will be announced within the month of June. Some really exciting news actually regarding the town in Dead Matter, or one of the towns anyway, Canmore. It's actually nearly complete now. They've added all sorts of things, doors, light switches, the buildings that we'll be able to take over and make our bases and it's actually a really really big town it's turned out to be a lot bigger than they originally planned and we can see in the vlog just how big it is there's a lot of important buildings here starting off with we've got some big industrial buildings the police station many many residential buildings construction sites it's pretty much got a little bit of everything and it sounds like this is a town we're going to be exploring for the closed alpha and do remember we're not going to be getting the whole map for the closed alpha a small area of it which is around five by five kilometers. They've reworked the vaulting system to make it more fluid and included some better animations and there's going to be a few more civilian weapons as well. The mention of a couple of new shotguns including the model 1887 which is a lever action shotgun and on the topic of shotguns we are going to be able to saw the barrel off of shotguns to make them smaller and turn them into that beloved sword off shotgun. The next weapon they showed off was the M14 and this actually looks incredible. Sounds like there's going to be a couple of variants and depending on the variant you're actually going to be able to turn this into a fully automatic. One thing I must say that the weapon models in this game look absolutely incredible and there's going to be a huge variety of weapons for us to find so I'm really excited for the weapon sort of side of this game. And of course the weapon customization because that's a huge amount of customization you can do to your weapons. As well as the M14 being added, they've also added a VZ58, which can be reloaded with either a magazine or a stripper clip. We've seen the stripper clip used in previous development vlogs, and I do think it's a really cool feature. Now, the next weapon is definitely the pinnacle of zombie survival gaming genres or films or whatever. It's the revolver. If you've seen Walking Dead, you know just how iconic this revolver is. As well as the revolver, we have another secondary weapon added, which is the Tech 9. Looks really cool. It's got roughly a 30 round magazine. There is a slight problem with the iron sight on this at the moment, and I have read that that's going to be fixed. It just wasn't fixed in time for the development vlog. Moving on from weapons, let's talk inventory system. Looks like they've fully reworked the storage of items on things like vehicles and in the ground. They've added a new 3D storage system in the back of the truck, for example. It's going to make that inventory management a whole lot easier for sure. Another cool feature they showed off is that you'll be able to use a plastic bucket to create a stash within the world. To do this, you'll also have to have a shovel on hand. Which brings me to the next feature, a modular crafting system. So things like nails and a baseball bat can be crafted to make a nailed baseball bat, quite obviously. You can do this all within your inventory as long as you have the right set of tools on you. They also show off a new health slash stat system which looks really really sick. It kind of looks like a mix between Scum and Escape from Tarkov whereas your limbs have separate health and things like that. But if your torso or your head reaches zero, then obviously you're gonna die. 
To give a very basic overview of how this works, for example, if your leg is very badly damaged, if you also have a low amount of blood, it's going to take a lot longer for that leg or that limb to heal. You can roughly see on your screen all of the sorts of things you're going to need to keep an eye on when roaming the world of dead matter. We got another look at the lock picking and hot wiring system within the game and a really cool feature they've added that if you are trying to hotwire a vehicle there is a chance you're going to set off the alarm which inevitably will attract a lot of attention to your position whether that being zombies or players just be prepared when you are trying to steal someone's car a feature we got a sneak peek at was the free look system i kind of thought this was already in there so i'm kind of surprised it was only just shown off maybe i was just making up and almost expected it to be there but I mean, it's a free look system, just like any other survival game we've played, you know how it works. Now one feature they have added that I'm not too sure on and I'm hoping is a feature we can turn off is nameplates. I feel like this could break immersion, maybe on more hardcore servers we'll be able to turn this off, but I can understand why it's there. I know a lot of people like to know who they're running with and where their friends are, so we'll just see how that plays out. And last but not least, single player has been added in time for the closed alpha. This is a really cool feature, a lot of people do prefer to play these survival games on their own and without the threat of other players, and having it in time for closed alpha is definitely a good move. However, in the development vlog, they do say that this will put your PC under a lot more stress rather than playing multiplayer. But anyway, that's going to be it for my first recap of a Dead Matter development vlog. If you did enjoy this video, let me know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And of course, if you are new around here and want to stay up to date with all of the things, for example, Dead Matter, Dead Side, any survival game you can think of, then please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Guys, thank you so much for the love and support on my previous videos. I really appreciate it. It does mean so, so much to me. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this one. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.